going on there folks good evening it is the earth master back here on this uh, sunday night it is july 16 2023 and we got a large earthquake coming in here to the um, argentina region it is being picked up here across the chile stations here uh there it is just popping up on the globe looks like that uh they got upgraded here slightly to a 6.5 magnitude earthquake but uh, let's see what we got here. 160 kilometers deep according to the uh, globe here. USGS not showing anything yet as far as uh, earthquake activity goes in that region. So this is going off of the EMSC model. Um, I'll go ahead and pull up them real quick and see what else they have to say about this large earthquake. This would make the second large one so far in the last 24 hours. Of course, we had that... Uh, strong earthquake up into the alaska area early this morning so 6.5 coming in to argentina or underneath this area because it is relatively deep there at 160 kilometers into the uh, peru chile trench uh, that is that uh, earthquake there in the purple circle the source parameters by the way have not yet been reviewed by a seismologist so it could go up it could go down in terms of magnitudes uh, looking at this potential here, at least the uh, seismograph reading around the Chile area, uh, just basing my my observation, I think that this will probably get downgraded. Um, I'm really not seeing a 6.5 show up anywhere on any of these other stations, but it may on the next update here. But we'll see what the USGS puts out as uh, far as this earthquake goes. Definitely see uh, you know a pretty good cl cluster of activity here across the plate boundary and. Uh, just shy of the plate boundary here in the Baja California area over the last 24 hours. Um, of course, this movement here sits eh, about 50 miles, maybe a little bit more south of the um, southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. Kind of watching that. Right now, I don't see any, uh, any swarming activity occurring around the San Andreas Fault, but we've got to watch that because we're getting a pretty good cluster of earthquake activity here south. Uh, looks like the largest one was a 4.6 so far uh, earlier this afternoon uh, aftershock activity continuing around the alaska region as well 4.7 uh, looks to be the, the uh, i believe that's going to be the second largest aftershock here following last night's 7.2 earthquake this originally came in as a 7.4 uh, so the largest magnitude so far following that main quake was a 5.7 strong aftershock uh, But also we're getting a little migration of earthquake activity here across the Gulf uh, Up against the uh, plate boundary here of the North American and the Pacific plate. So we'll watch this definitely seeing uh, Some type of adjustment going on here across the Pacific plate currently uh, Nothing coming in yet from the USGS. It just <laughs> It's one of those things, right? Like I say, it takes a little bit for someone to review it. Uh, either way, it looks like somewhat of a larger earthquake coming into the Argentina area. 6.5. Let me check out the latest uh, updates here. Not for sure what's going on here at Yellowstone. That just kind of kicked up all of a sudden. Let me double check that and see what's going on there on the Yellowstone station. Again, that just kicked up as that uh, earthquake down into the Argentina area picked up. That's going to be the 7.2 showing up here across the graphs at Yellowstone from last night. Seismic activity, though, here at uh, Yellowstone is quiet as far as local movement goes. All right, well, um, we'll go with the 6.5 for now. Like I say, it could get downgraded. It could get upgraded. Uh, more than likely, though, I think it's going to be downgraded slightly. Just looking at this signature there um, around the uh, Chile area. It doesn't quite look like that's going to be a 6.5. So we'll see what they report. Either way, uh, we'll be back here oh, in an hour or so to do the nightly update. Wasn't really uh, prepared yet for the uh, full update. Uh, so we'll get this one up on the channel and then we'll be back here a little bit later on this evening uh, with a complete full update. Take care, folks.